I am welcome to make up for 40 plus this is the look I have done today once again just spare of the moment video um, didn't know what I was going to do decided to use the coastal sense 88 palette because that's what I am giving away so I'm not feeling a hundred percent today so I'm sorry if I sound a bit flat in my video I do apologize in advance so I really hope that you stay watching and if you're interested in how I got this look which I did as I usually do just as I went along then please keep watching okay so as I mentioned I'm not sure what I'm going to do which is not unusual for me um, and I'm not feeling 100% as I also mentioned so I do apologize if I'm a little flat today so sorry about that so I am going I'm going to start with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance I really do love this stuff it's just great just put that on my entire lid I'm going to run that from my lash line right up to my eyebrow bone and, and also underneath just to catch the eyeshadow as you know I like to marry my eyeshadow at the from what I'm wearing at, I can't even speak today <laughs> You know I like to match my eyeshadow and marry it up from the top lash, my top lid to my bottom lid. Also excuse my nails, I haven't had a chance to do a manicure yet this week, so slack. I have had some requests for some nail art tutorials, so I might do a tutorial while I do my nails this week. I think I might go for a bit of a darker sort of look today. I've actually had a request for a homecoming look so I'll base my colors today on that look um, as a start and see if the person requested it likes the look and that way I've got a chance to do a few different looks if they want to see something a bit different. Iced Mocha Jumbo Pencil from NYX. I know this may seem like an odd color for what I'm going to do but it's going to give me a really nice base and I don't want black because it will be too dark for what I'm going for but this will give me a good solid depth and some shimmer because if it's a homecoming dance and it's night time then you want it to be shimmery and I do love my shimmer shade. What I also might do is being that I am doing and I'm doing a giveaway for the 88 original palette so to begin going in as always with my shader brush from elf I'm for packing color onto the lid so I'm going to start with a really beautiful silver color out of the palette and as you can see by putting that mocha color as I said, it seemed an odd colour to put down, but I wanted something with a bit of depth to enhance the colour I was about to lay down. So that's definitely done that. I love that really beautiful silver shadow colour. Plus, between the Too Faced Shadow Insurance and putting that jumbo pencil down, is highly unlikely to have any creasing or your makeup moving anywhere while you're dancing the night away. I do like that silver, that's beautiful. So now I'm going to go in with my small with my small pencil brush from e.l.f. and I'm just going in with black. So I just am going to run this in my outer V being that this is a nighttime look, I do want something fairly dark and intense. And I'm wearing neutral colours once I get dressed. I don't think I'll have time to show you what I'm wearing, but I can pretty much go with whatever I want. 
so just pull that into the crease and it doesn't matter that it's a bit messy at the moment because we'll tidy that up and also just run that colour down under the lower lash line as you know that is something I very much love to do and just join it up so that you've got a nice line what I do love about this pencil brush it allows you to really push that colour into the crease and get it exactly where you want it even though we'll be blending it it's it's exactly where we want the colour to be so I'm going in with my which looks very dirty but it's stained unfortunately next I'm going in with my E25 blending brush from Sigma and I'm going to go in and I'm going to use a really deep purple colour it's actually the deep the darkest purple in the palette now I'm just going to leave my eye open and I'm just going to blend this from the very outer edge and I've just dabbed very lightly my brush into that color because you can always build but it's much harder to take away so and I'm just going to blend that so intensifying that outer corner but also blending it with the black and that little bit of silver into the corner so just pulling that purple through just to intensify that look so I'm just going to continue to build in that outer corner and blend being that it's a nighttime look I'm just doing it a bit darker than I would if it was a daytime well, I quite like that, it's very pretty may not be everybody's taste but I very much like that now what I'm going to use now is this big beautiful colour which I've been dying to use it's this beautiful iridescent white now I'm just going to use this on my fluffy brush and I'm actually not going to use it for anything but to add it's quite a iridescent color so and it's very very powdery like if you can see it on the end of the brush so I'm just going to tap all, as much excess as I can off because I want a very light very very light amount so I'm just going to very gently take that across the top and through this area and then just very gently just dab across all the colors that I've laid down I'm going to do the same on the other eye and then I'm going to blend that so it's not quite so in your face and so don't be too afraid just yet it's just because it's got this beautiful iridescent sheen to it and we're going with the purples I thought it would be perfect so we'll just blend that a little bit more on the brow bone and then just very gently ensure that it's just basically sweeping those colors just to give it a bit of oomph yes like a lot so we've still kept the silver and the gray and the purple but with that iridescent color it's nearly given it just another shade of of purple up through the brow and the iridescent just as you move and if you wanted to even um, just get a tiny bit that's left in the cap that you've tapped off and just very gently run it across your cheekbones and just blend that out just to give a bit of iridescence and a highlight to the tops of your cheeks and if you wanted to you could also just do your cupid's bow it's just subtle enough that it just adds a, a little bit of sheen but it really has to catch the light it's not a in your face 
So, what to do next? I don't think I could do a nighttime look, especially this smoky, without doing a um, without doing some eyeliner. So, so without doing eyeliner. So, I'm just going to use my Revlon Color Stay eyeliner, and I'm just going to do my top and bottom waterline. going to use my Miraness it's 24 hour secret weapon eyeliner this is great it doesn't smudge it doesn't crack and all you have to do is put warm water on it and wet it and it just it literally peels off when it's wet so I just love this stuff it's great now you could go as thick or as thin as you please with this it all depends on who you are and whether you like thick liner or thin liner. Yeah, I just realised how red my eyes still are. I'm so sorry I'm still battling these allergies. It looks terrible. So I'm just going to go in and curl my lashes. Now if you are good at winging your liner and like a winged liner, by all means of course do your own thing and wing your liner out unfortunately I cannot do wing liner to save myself and I am just going to go in and use my Miraness uh, curl mascara this is beautiful this is also another mascara that you can basically sleep in if you want to because it just goes on and it comes off in warm water with a tube it doesn't smudge, it doesn't smear, it doesn't flake, it doesn't do any of the nasty things normal mascara does and no matter what you do when you remove it you have no panda eyes which I love so there's never any hard rubbing you just hold a cotton bud and warm water and the tubes that it places on your lashes literally just slide off so it really is magic. So that's just one coat, so I'll let that dry for a second and then I'll do another coat. And then just a light coating of this on the bottom. Being that it is such an intense look, I would definitely put, well I always wear mascara on my bottom lashes, but I definitely wouldn't do this look without. zoom out. So this is my final look. Once again I love when I have no idea what I'm going to do and I just start playing and end up <laughs> doing a look and going I really like that. It's remembering how I did it next time I want to get the look that's the trick so yeah really happy with that. I would think this was a nighttime um, look. I think that it's absolutely really pretty and quite elegant. So yeah, I'm really happy with this look. So just a bit of contour, just a bit of a pinky coloured blush and as you can see I ran that iridescent colour down the top of my cheeks and it really isn't too much and just a little bit on my cupid's bow um, which also isn't really you know it's not in your face it just makes your lips look a little bit fuller so I really hope that you've enjoyed this look and if you have please thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please do so and as I said I use the 88 um, original palette from Coastal Scents to do this look which is the giveaway I've currently got going on is for that palette so this is obviously one of the looks that you could do with with that palette if you don't have it already and you would like to win it. So thanks for joining me once again and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.